I am absolutely starving. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, today, if you haven't already guessed by the title, I am filming a what I eat in a day video. So at the moment, I am on a bit of a uh, mission to get my body back in shape by Christmas. And what I mean by that is I used to be a dancer slash still am slash used to be and I used to be dancing like five hours a day and um, I don't do that anymore so obviously for obvious reasons my body is not in such good athletic shape as it used to be so I have been working with a lovely girl called Amelia her Instagram is I'll put it here it's like peach power fit I think and she has set me up a workout and diet plan essentially. I'm not on a diet. What I mean by diet is what kind of food I should be eating, calories, protein, all of those sorts of things. So at the moment, I'm eating what I would call very healthily. Now luckily I have a very healthy relationship with food in general, but if any kind of food diet talking thing triggers you in any way and this may affect you negatively please stop watching the video now i haven't done very well today because well i got up i did a workout i had a bath i let the plumber in to come and fix the radiator and then i had a meeting and then since then i've literally been working non-stop and i haven't had a chance to eat and I'm absolutely starving. So I'm about to have breakfast and lunch all in one go. Breakfast today is going to be half an avocado, which actually I think I have half in the fridge, and some chicken sausages. Mm -mm -mm. This is a staple for me. Gets me some protein in. So I, uh, she wants me to have uh, 90 grams of protein a day and that, let me tell you, that's a lot of protein. Uh, it's very hard to get on a plant-based diet so I've had to go back to the old chicken sorry chickens I love these heck chicken sausages this is what we're going for this is what we're having and we've got half an avocado left over so I'm going to chuck the oven on I'm going to cook it and that's going to be breakfast and then I'm probably going to be hungry enough for lunch straight away so I'm going to have to think about what I'm going to have for that I haven't worked that out yet see you in a minute So I'm that hungry that I actually can't wait for the sausages. So I'm gonna have a banana as well. <laughs> uh, they don't take long, they take literally 15 minutes in the oven, but it's just too long, I'm starving. Just for context, by the way, it's one o'clock and I haven't eaten a thing. Just wondering, does anyone else leave their oven open once it's finished cooking and turned off? Because they can't afford the heating. <laughs> I can't work it out an angle where my head's in it and my food as well. So um, just know that it's there and that I'm eating it. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This has got to be my favourite breakfast to have ever. It's so... Delicious. Sausages for breakfast, what a treat. And if you are looking for high protein, low fat, low carb foods, heck, chicken sausages are the best. And a little cheeky tip for you, Aldi do their own version and they're exactly the same and they've got the same nutrition and they're just as delicious. Honestly, I'm nearly at the end of my sausages and I'm starting to think, what am I going to have for my lunch? And actually, I think I know what I'm going to have. I think I've literally just decided in those two split seconds that I'm going to have a tuna and rice salad. It's healthy, it's delicious, it's nutritious, it's full of protein, it's full of veg. What more can I say? Oh my God, I've got hiccups. I'm going to go and do 15 minutes of work, let this food properly go down because I clearly ate it too fast. And then I'm going to come back, I'm going to make my tuna rice and I'll see you in a bit. 
Good afternoon, everybody. So yesterday I started filming this video and then I was like, oh, I'm gonna make this tuna rice salad. I'll just do 15 minutes of work and then I'll be back. And then I got a call from my boyfriend and we ended up taking him to A&E and sitting with him for six, seven hours in A&E. And it's okay, he's fine-ish. Um, he will be fine. And uh, I got very hungry in A&E because I didn't have any lunch. I didn't manage to eat anything until like, like six o'clock <laughs> after my avocado and sausages. Well, I took, did take um, like five biscuits with me, so I ate five biscuits. But yeah, I was pretty hungry. Anyway, today it's just turned lunchtime. Well, it's 10 past one. And so I am going to actually make this tuna rice that I was going to have yesterday. I'm gonna have it now, so I will uh, make it now and show you. This is one of my most favorite healthy lunch dinner recipes ever. And you know, sometimes salad in the winter, you don't want a cold meal, but if you put the rice in whilst it's still warm, it still feels kind of cozy and tasty. Mm. It's finished. <coughs> Excuse me. Finished course number one, and I think I'm gonna finish the rest. I thought I was gonna save it for tomorrow or maybe give it to Wally, but realistically, I just wanna eat it. So, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eat it so healthy, right? I completely forgot that I've got to do my workout today and I haven't done it yet. Ah! Oh well, I'll have to do it later. It's not that much there. Yeah, so this meal is um very high. It's got a whole tin of tuna in it. Two fluid ounces of dried rice and uh loads of veg and then a, a small amount of mayo probably about a tablespoon of mayo and probably about half a tablespoon of olive oil maybe a tablespoon it's delicious it's nutritious it's filling what more what more could you ask for in a in a, in a lunch i'm just watching youtube so i'm gonna get back to it <laughs> tuna rice i'm stuffed and it's now time to just get on with my day i need to actually start editing this video that i'm filming right now and it's also very nice and sunny outside so i quite fancy going for a walk but i don't know when i'm gonna have time for that anyway i will see you at dinner time or possibly snack time before and in fact wait for it i'm gonna have a frube now I know these are for children, but I'm still a child at heart. They're just tasty and it's better for me than having like a chocolate bar, which is what I always crave after my lunch. So, a frub it is. <laughs> just put dinner in the oven we're just having some chicken breast some baked chicken breast in the oven with some paprika and chili and garlic and some sweet potato fries with paprika chili and garlic and some broccoli a fairly kind of meat and two veg type dinner but i'm hoping that the paprika garlic and chili gives it a good old kick and deliciousness I'm being a bit naughty because I have discovered there is a pancake van 
that um, comes to the park just behind our building like every Thursday evening and they have a Biscoff pancake and it just, I just can't not go. I found out last week and was very close to going but I thought no, I'll wait until Ollie can come with me because he wasn't in and then now Ollie's poorly and he's not going to come anyway but I might bring him a pancake back if he wants one. And yeah, I'm just really excited so, um, but it closes at 8 so I have to have dinner early so that I can make sure I get there on time and get my Biscoff pancake. <laughs> it's very important. Just don't tell Amelia. Lovely dinners with some paprika chicken and chips and broccoli. Yum yum scrum, only 25 minutes later than planned. Right, you need to decide. Okay, let's go! Okay guys, there it is. Oh, that's better. <gasps> Biscoff madness. It's got um, Biscoff I can't remember, Biscoff spread, banana, Biscoff crumb. I think that might be it. And you've got, oh, marshmallow. Marshmallow. Marshmallow and Oreo. Chocolate Oreo. That actually looks so good. The back of yours, like, oh yeah, look at that. This is the remainder of Ollie's since, <laughs> since we've got back. Looks pretty bloody delicious. It's got so much filling and they're kind of crispy and oh. Oh, it's very good. Oh my god, look at that. Look. Oh, <gasps> look at that. Oh my god. I quite like, I really want to try their savoury ones now. Mm. If by chance you happen to be watching this and you actually live in Brighton, go check out the pancake guys. Very good, very, very good crepes. Anyway, guys, I'm going to finish my crepe, then I'm going to watch telly and then go to bed. Oh, it's still 10 to 8. Nice and early. Thank you so much for coming to watch my video this week. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Click the big thumbs up below. Leave a comment, say hi. Um, and I'll see you next week. Bye.